Hello, I'm Treg Frank, and uh, I'm going to teach you how to speedrun Sketch today. Let's learn some stuff. Let's get into it. So I use a few different pieces of third-party software to speed up my Sketch workflow. Um, I use Alfred and I use Keyboard Maestro. Uh, these two are my main pieces of uh, third-party not plug-in software that I use. Uh, Alfred basically is kind of like Spotlight Search. Uh, that's built into Mac OS, but it does a lot more. Uh, so I have a workflow installed, which basically is like a third party script that lets me, if I paste like a hex code, it'll give me the RGB um, and HSL and all that kind of stuff. And I can copy those uh, without having to leave the keyboard. Uh, I also use a thing called SIP, which lets me pick colors from anywhere on my computer. I can be watching a movie and I can pick a color, um, or I can be, you know, in sketch to pick a color, whatever. Um, I love it, um, and this is what it looks like. This is a little drop-down menu. Sip is the name. I'll link everything in the description that I talk about. Uh, but it gives you your color history, and you can re uh, reference colors that you've copied in the past. Um, so I love Sip. I sometimes will use that instead of uh, Sketches Color Selector. Uh, and then another big one is uh, Keyboard Maestro. Keyboard Maestro lets you basically create macros for your keyboard. Um, I'm looking to add more to this, but right now I just have one main um, macro that when I type a key command, it actually does two key commands for me. And I'll show you what that does in just a second. Originally in Sketch, there's no area for setting up different keyboard shortcuts. So I have a plugin called Sketch Keys, which lets me um, edit the shortcuts right here. It, it's not perfect, so um, the, the more efficient way to add keyboard shortcuts, uh, despite its weirdness, is to go to the system preferences and then keyboard, and then you go to shortcuts, um, and then you go to app shortcuts, and you can add them specifically for sketch that you can see here. So yeah, here you can see all the different shortcuts that I have for sketch. Um, I have, you know, aligning at the top, the viewing previous page, line to bottom, line right, that kind of stuff. Um, so when you actually add these, you have to you have to type this in and you have to know the exact path in the menu. Um, so for instance, that one's a range, a line, and then you can see they show up now, but originally they're just you know left horizontally, right? So it's a little tedious, uh, but I found that it's more reliable than using the sketch keys to create new shortcuts. Let me show you some of my favorite uh, shortcuts. So let's make a little square. Well, let's make it 200. Cool. All right, so let's say I want to align it to the to the right. I can do this shortcut, which is uh, Control Command, and then any of my arrows. I can align things really quickly, uh, and that is a huge time saver. I also have, let's say it's here. I also have this one, which does it uh, horizontally, and then off center it. And this one does it vertically, centers it vertically. So as you saw, I have a shortcut to align vertically, vertically, and horizontally. Um, and then Keyboard Maestro can put those two together for me. Um, so when I type that, it does both. And that's a huge time saver. Rather than going up here and clicking and then clicking again, uh, I hit one button, it does both of that for me. Uh, the weird thing is, if I hit undo in Sketch, it actually undoes both. Uh, I'm not sure why, uh, maybe a developer out there could tell me <laughs> better why it would do something like that, um, but it does, so that's interesting. Okay, so let's say that I have this box centered and then I have some sweet text. And it's right here and I want it to be eight pixels from the left side of the box. I can actually do that shortcut and then this one center it vertically for me uh, and then just come in and do uh, the quick, you know, 10 minus two, uh, that'll get it eight points from the side. If it's really, really far off, that really speeds up time. I also have, uh, this one that adds this quick shadow for me. Um, obviously it's not like anything special. It's just like, there's a shadow. So I could see what that would look like with some depth. I also have this shortcut that lets me flip between pages really quick. It's shift control option. And then I can hit down or up depending if I want to go up or down to page. Um, really helpful to switch between pages really quickly. So let's say I want to make this guy a symbol. I can do Control Command C, and it makes it a symbol. I have to type in a name, obviously, but you know, make one. 
Um, so that's a really quick way to make a symbol with just adding a quick shortcut for that. F12 shows me all the tabs that I have. So if you have multiple sketch files open, you can hit F12 and it will show you those. So I have that shortcut set up. I really like the plugin Stark and let me show you what Stark does. So it lets me basically test for different forms of color deficiency. So I have a, a quick shortcut to open up Stark, which lets me um, basically view these squares with, let's say, uh, deuteranopia color blindness. Um, so you can see basically how someone with that color deficiency would be able to or not be able to see what you've created. Um, and I have that on a quick shortcut so I can open it and check as I go. It's not perfect. Um, I'm actually colorblind and uh, I am a severe deuteranopia and uh, I can tell how it's shifting colors and it's a little wrong, but, um, but that's okay because it helps at least a little bit. So yeah, with uh, SIP, for instance, if I wanted this specific gray, I can open up Alfred and paste it in and it shows up with the RGB value. I copy it. Weird thing is it currently pastes it in and I have to probably go in and fix that, but that's okay. You can also set SIP to change the value that it's outputting, uh, if it's RGB or HSL or whatever, uh, when you go to copy a color, um, it'll show up as that in your clipboard. Um, but if you have it set to hex code, I always have mine set to hex code. You can use that um, color workflow and Alfred to change that to RGB or um, whatever else you need um, really quickly. There's also the plugin Runner, and I'm sure you've heard of it, but Runner is nice because it helps you um, it helps you find things if you don't have a shortcut for it or if you don't want to go into your plugins menu and search. So if I want, like, for instance, material, uh, and then I want to do the two dip thing, I can just do that really quick um, just from Runner from without leaving my keyboard at all. I also have an Alfred integration workflow with uh, Keyboard Maestro. It's called Alfred Maestro, uh, which basically lets me quickly find a Keyboard Maestro script if I forget the name of it. So I could be like a sketch... If I wanted to, if I couldn't remember what the shortcut was and I wanted to run that macro really quick, um, I could type that in. So let's say I have all these groups open, tons of stuff going on. Uh, this file is so unorganized. There's no names on like any of the layers. Don't do that. Not recommended. Um, but it was from a design jam. It was, you know, overnight just trying to go as fast as possible. But let's say you have all these things um, open on the left panel and you want to shut them. I have a shortcut for that. It's uh, Command, Shift, and Enter. And it shuts everything. So it lets you just ground zero, let's start over, and not select anything. And then once you click on something, and it, it brings you right to it. Um, so that's, that's actually a huge, uh, huge productivity thing for me. It's like instead of having to scroll all the way through, I can just... I don't want to see anything anymore. I want to get up to this artboard or whatever it is. So yeah, that's basically my uh, my sketch workflow. Um, I was largely inspired by the video editor of Linus Media Groups or Linus Tech Tips. Um, and his he made a four hour long <laughs> tutorial on uh, on his workflow for Premiere, and he uses Auto Hotkey on a PC to basically do what I'm doing here, but to an extreme level. He also has like four keyboards where each different key does um, basically like a whole different shortcut um, and helps him speed up his process. So I was inspired by that. Um, I'm not to the point where I have, you know, four keyboards and I hardly even have every key used. I don't think I'll ever get to that point for sketch, but that's largely where my inspiration came from. Uh, so. If you have any other suggestions um, for different shortcuts you think I should add, or if you were inspired by this and you created a new shortcut uh, using uh, Keyboard Maestro, uh, let me know because I, I want to try to implement some of those. So yeah, let me know if you uh, got anything cool out of this. I want to see your cool stuff. Thank you for watching and learning with me, and I will see you in the next video.